Okay, first of all, I will try to discuss about the salinity monitoring using Google Earth Engine. How we can easily monitor the salinity using the Google Earth Engine. This is soil salinity or uh, water, water, water salinity? Okay, so basically it's the water salinity. Water salinity. Water. Water. Water, water salinity. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. It's not the uh, soil water. salinity, right? No. It's only for the water. We can easily, um, basically, for the water, uh, the directly reflection on the sun, so that way it will be reflected easily. Otherwise, soil has upper uh, part some lot of uh, trees or vegetation, so that's why it's very difficult to identify the soil salinity. Okay, but water salinity, we can easily identify about that using the different types of uh, index we are used for to identify the uh, water salinity. So mainly, uh, where is the high we can identify from where you can see. Uh, for this, uh, this is the water on mangrove water. We get a lot of water river yeah. here. So in this table, we can easily identify about that the lot of salinity. Mainly high salinity index about that this type of red color. We can easily identify this is the high salinity. So basically, uh, we are use this type of salinity index formula to identify the salinity index. So basically here you can see this is the one kind of formula about the salinity index uh, SI uh, root over green band minus um, multiply with red band also SI2 it is the salinity index 2 formula uh, root over we can get the G green plus square plus R square plus near infrared band so basically G is for green red and near infrared band okay. so basically two types of salinity index formula also, you can the brightness index formula. So basically, it's another kind of formula, brightness index, as well as also you can see the normalized salinity index NDSI. Okay. And you can find out. So there are also reference about that who about this uh, index or formula. So you can simply go to this uh, formula, then you can get a lot of information how they create this type of index. Okay. So this is another formula about that. Combined spectral response index. Yep. So basically, all of those equation we can easily uh, write in Google Earth Engine platform, and we can easily identify the soil uh, uh, water salinity. Basically, water salinity we can easily identify and create this type of map. And here, as well as we can also create the time series chart for the different time. But the and we can we can also check about that. What is the uh, validation? what is the accuracy about the uh, salinity map for that we are also easily uh, check the validation so for that we have to also import the ground truth data suppose you simply um, ground visited this place and then you can simply collect the sample of water and also take the gps location and then you can simply uh, make that on uh, the you can simply lab lab you can simply go to the lab and then simply find out what is the soil of uh, um, quantity about that then using that we can easily make the um, different types of algorithm such as kappa or different types of accuracy algorithm and we can easily make the what is the accuracy about the soil index map so we also just uh, use the ground truth data to identify that so let's go about that first of all i try to discuss about that how we can easily calculate this type of equation and then find out the soil sorry water uh, salinity index about so let's go just a simple in my code yeah, here. Uh, Norman, uh, Mr. Raymond. Yes. Can we, can we, is there any process to, you know, uh, get the soil salinity index? Okay. For the soil salinity index. Soil salinity. Think, index. Yes. Okay. So for that, we have to use the another algorithm. I think it also possible for that, for the soil salinity index. But, but the main problem is that I also find out the uh, solution. But main problem is that for the soil, uh, mainly in the when you want to see the soil, there are the lot of vegetation. So that's why we are, we did not access about that the sun, sun reflection is not only, only, in the only ground. Only near the yes. only near the near the coast, uh, uh, Mr. Rama. Not in inland. Only near uh, around the coastal plains. Not in yeah. Okay, so then I think it, it also possible about that identify about that uh, soil salinity about that. Okay, 
but this type of index okay. uh, just uh, only use for the water i think about that all of those index or a formula they are mainly used for the uh, water only for the water not uh, mm -hmm. in the soil but i think it is possible to identify about the coastal region mainly there is a not uh, enough uh, this type of vegetation or trees not available for that region you can easily identify about that soil salinity so in this time uh, you can use any types of uh, satellite images it can be landsat or sentinel when you, uh, you can use any one there is a no problem so here i use the okay so first of all this is my boundary about that mangrove boundary so i already imported this boundary in google Earth engine platform this is a sundarban region about india and bangladesh about region including in this shape file so i use this boundary and then I already imported the landsat images, top of atmospheric images here, the top of atmospheric images. So basically, it including the all of those band which I need. You can see the blue, green, near infrared. All of those band is available in here. So I use this image collection, top of atmospheric image collection. Okay, and then also you can see the okay. So this is the salinity point about for my region. So just I just simply find out uh, some sample from that and uh, just use the csv file simply import it some point and then okay and it also available for that we are also show the result only for the river okay so mainly river in the water so for that we also created the uh, river boundary shape file okay so basically it is started the river boundary shape file then we can get only for the water salinity when i use the river boundary shape file then other part is removed we can get the result only for the river boundary or water boundary is mangrove after that in this time it's not neat so basically it's not neat uh, so now i just simply filter my landsat 8 image collection for the specific time period such as any time period you can simply print uh, this time period uh which time period you need so in this time i simply put this year of 2020 uh, first January to uh, December this time period and take the median image collection. Use here the median image collection for year of 2020. After that, in this time, I just put this equation. You can see this is my equation. Okay, so this is my equation. Which equation I use? And I can see I use this equation first one. Okay, so now I simply put here this uh, blue uh, multiply with red, and you can see. Uh, here I use here the two multiply so it is the exponential exponential means that uh, suppose uh, 0 0.5 half okay so root over we can also uh, express using that uh, multiply with half okay, 0 0.5 so this is my equation about that so just I simply put the equation using the expression function and then I simply select what is the blue blue mainly it is that uh, b2 band and what is the red Red mainly means that before band. So after that, I simply uh, rename it. Uh, you can put any name. I simply put this rename as that SI1. And then I simply show the result about that. So just click with my boundary. So now it shows the result for the whole mangrove area. Suppose I need the result only for the river. So for that, I simply input the uh, coastal river shape file. And then I can get the properly uh, water body salinity map for this region. So just I simply paste in here. River, click the run. So now in, in this time it shows the result only for the water body. Post. It's loaded.
Okay, so like I said, you can get the result only for that water body boundary. This is the water salinity. So just simply clip with our uh, river boundary shape file, then we can get the result only for this river boundary. Not only for that if you want you can also use the another formula here you can see suppose i want to use that the this formula this is the ndsi formula formula is different soil index formula salinity index formula so it is the um red minus near infrared divided by press red plus near infrared so just we are use this formula suppose i just simply use the formula so it's very easy just we can simply suppose i write the formula for ndsi at the NDSI formula is different soil salinity index. Sorry, normal different salinity index. This formula is that red minus near infrared, red minus near infrared divided by red plus near infrared. Okay, just we are use this formula. So now I just put this formula in DSI in here and then take a variable suppose NDSI and then call my image. So in this time I just use the image is that this image, this alien image. Simply copy and then paste here okay, this image. And now I can simply lot of uh, function you need to use expression or also use the normalized difference function. So just I use at the function suppose uh, normalized difference function okay? and put here the difference between red band this is P4 and near infrared band this is the pi or landscape. Okay? So now it automatically when I put the form uh, function it automatically calculated the red minus near infrared divided by red plus near infrared. So now we just show the result. So just add the and uh, okay just put here the map dot add layer call the variable name ndsi normalized difference soil index and then use at the clip function just clip with our boundary suppose in this time to show the result for that ROI full mangrove area and then again okay, just we are use the same visualization from here that they copy So before that, I simply run my code and show the result. So click the run. In this way, you can get the grayscale color for NDSI or normalized difference file index. Got it. And so we can get the result look like that. This time we are using the another formula, normalized different salinity index formula. So now we can get the result look like that. So just we are adhered the color. So just use this setting button and you can see custom suppose 98% stress. Now we can get the range between the mean and max range about that. So mainly uh, high positive value identify for that high salinity region, high positive value identify for the high salinity region. Okay. So now I just simply add here is suppose I just simply put here suppose mean I simply copy the value copy and also put here the max we copy this same value from here maximum value and paste here and i also added the plated function so i use the same color plated so just simply copy the blue white and red 
तो बोलो मेनली शो द रिजल्ट फॉर दैट लो सैलिनिटी रीजन वाई इज व्हाइट इज मीडियम एंड रेड इज द हाई Just take copy from here. Take copy. And then paste it. Now clear that this time we can get the proper. In this time, we can get this type of result. For normalized different salinity index, so mainly this type of water body show the result for high salinity. Index. Here we can get the value. Suppose click on here. Zero point two. But when I click on this here, I can get the negative. Hello. Negative. When I click on this, I get positive. Zero point one or zero point two. Zero point two. Click on here. So basically, this is the process about that for identify for the salinity index. And just put the equation, and then we can easily identify about that is the condition about the salinity that can grow. And for the soil salinity, I think it also have the another algorithm or another equation for the soil salinity only for the soil. Okay? But this type of formula or index we are just use for that water salinity. I also send you the code. You also try to practice for your own region. Try to okay. and you can use the Landsat Sentinel. Any image, our formula is the all time same. Index formula is the same. Also. 